Well, here we are at Old Trafford. It's not bad, is it, really? This stand in which we're now sitting, the North Stand, when it was built, was the largest single-roof cantilever stand in Europe. If new last season were the top tiers of the East and West upper stands there. They brought the capacity to 68,217. The latest addition to the stadium are the scoreboards. There's actually four new scoreboards there. I believe there's only about 2% of the people in the ground that can't see those now. Over on the far side, that's the director's box with the home directors there. If you'd like to follow me down the stairs here, we'll have a walk round. Just pause here just a moment to point out our police station in the corner there, which you might be surprised to see inside the football ground, but on a match day, that's fully operational, staffed by police officers, and we've got three cells in there. Just point out as well one of our first aid rooms over here. There's eight first aid rooms around the stadium, fully qualified doctor in charge of each one on a match day. And we're just going to the press conference areas. This is the press conference room. When the match is over, the reporters come through the door here, they sit in the seats where you are, and they get the chance to talk to the manager. If you'd like to follow me into the VIP lounge. This is where the directors and the club officials entertain their guests on a match day, and you'll find a lot of famous people in this room on a match day. But more importantly, the Manchester United players will all come in about three and a half hours before the game to have their pre-match meal. This tunnel is, in fact, the only surviving part of the original Old Trafford football ground, built over 90 years ago, 1910. So here we are, the manager's dugout area. He does have a seat, I mean, you don't really want to see him sit down, do you? If you see the matches, it's normally standing in the corner. This is the players' lounge. It's their own private area. The manager doesn't come in this room. There's no reporters or press or television. Anyone like that's allowed anywhere near this room. So it is, it is a private area for the players. Then we always invite the visiting team back in this room after the game. And just to make sure that everything's very nice and friendly, we have a very simple rule. We say, please don't talk about the game. So this is it, the inner sanctum. You notice there's no names on the pegs and no cubicles and no lockers, anything like that, all very much open plan, all, all last together. The shower room over here, of course, individual showers and baths on the far side. Round the corner to the right, you've got the big bath, it's a spa bath. As many of the players as want to will jump in there after the game all together and they can ease away the aches and pains and bruises that they inevitably pick up during the game. Let's go and have a down the tunnel, shall we? This is for you.